Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're going to make the Forest Gimlet. Ah, this is a delightful, earthy mm-hmm. gimlet, right? Yeah, very good. Using our patchouli syrup. Yeah, patchouli is what gives you the earthiness, mm-hmm. right? Because it tastes like you're eating dirt, or moss at least. It's got some hint of mint and moss to it. Yeah, very earthy. But it's nice combination with the tartness from the lime, mm-hmm. and then the complex botanicals from the gin. Thanks for one darn delightful cocktail, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We have a video to show you how to make the patchouli syrup. It's not yep. that hard. And we do have a lot of uh, cocktails that we use it in. So. Yeah. Like slow dancing Sasquatch, mm-hmm. right? And the Merck Pither. The patchouli daiquiri. Yeah. So check those out, mm-hmm. too. It's made from these. It's just it's the patchouli leaves, right? right? Mm-hmm. So plant from Asia, but you see it around here, so... Yeah. Some, we put some in our herb garden this year. Mm-hmm. It's from the mint family, so it might come back next year. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to wait to, and see. Yeah, we'll have right? to find out. Okay, so we start by putting in all of our ingredients into our cocktail shaker, starting with two ounces of gin. We're using the Leatherbees gin here today, but use your favorite. It's a very forgiving cocktail. Mm-hmm. And then Phil's going to put in three quarter ounces of the patchouli syrup while I get three quarter ounces of lime juice ready. Oh, it's darn slippery lime. <laughs> there you go. Cut it. Mm-hmm. And then you want one dash of citrus bitters. We're using these lime bitters from Dillon's and it's they have kind of a small hole, so we do two dashes if we're using this. But uh, orange bitters would work, mm-hmm. lemon bitters, grapefruit bitters, anything like that. Any citrus bitters will work. We're going to add ice and shake. Delightful cocktail. Very complex though in its taste, right? Oh yeah. Now we're going to double strain that. I'm going to pour this into our coupe glass today. A couple ways you can garnish this. You can float a patchouli leaf on the top, which is what we're going to do. Or you can put a lime wheel on the side. And there you have your delightful enchanting forest gimlet. Enjoy. Cheers.